Hello everybody, it's Kenneth from the Archives here again to talk about some of our collections. And today I'm going to be looking at something specifically relating to the history of the university. And that is the Glad Mag. So what was the Glad Mag? Well, before we get on to it, we need to explain the context. One of the things I really love about the university history is right back to our foundation in the 19th century, there has been a strong student commitment to benefit the local area and also the wider world. And nothing perhaps better exemplifies this than the tradition that was Charity Speak. Now, back in the days of University College Dundee, there already was a fairly substantial history of students raising money for good causes. Uh, and it was noted during the Great War, for example, the students at Dundee performed important charitable work. They also liked to raise money for Dundee Royal Infirmary and other local medical organisations. And in the 1920s, this evolved into Charities Week, which was a week, usually in February, where students would raise money for local good causes. The infirmary was one that nearly always benefited. And over the years, this became quite elaborate, and a number of stunts were pulled to get money in from the local people. So this is one of my favourites. This comes in 1933, when they decided they were going to get a Robinson Crusoe theme. So Robinson Crusoe was stranded on an island, so the students took the idea that they would have their own Robinson Crusoe and strand him on an island in Dundee, a traffic island in the high street. And there he sat and people gave money to the cause. It was an effective way of promoting it. One thing that a lot of people remember about Charities Week, though, is its publication, the Glad Mag, uh, later just Glad Mag. This was produced to raise money. Basically, students would go round Dundee and the wider area, actually, selling it, and the profits would all go towards the charity. It would contain articles, humorous material. The covers were nearly always humorous and sometimes topical about what was going on. So we've got the 1940 cover here. Obviously, that's right at the start of the Second World War. So no surprise that the war is being referenced in it. And indeed, most of the next few years covers would reference the war. It wasn't just university college. Um, the training college, which eventually became known as the College of Education and is now back in the university as Education and Social Work, Dundee Technical College, which of course evolved into what's now the University of Aberdeen, Dundee, uh, and the College of Art, which of course is now Duncan of Jordanson College in Art and Design, and again as part of the modern university. They were all involved as well, but it was University College that led it. And here we've got the Committee for 1940 printed in that year's Glad Mag. Now I mentioned the covers were topical, so flash forward two years to 1942, and the Soviet Union has fairly recently entered the war as an ally of Britain. So the Glad Mag cover reflects that, with the Russian bear drawn somewhat to resemble Stalin standing over a prostrate Hitler with the lovely pun, step on it, Joe. 1946 and the war is over, but we've still got our comical cover. And here we have a young lady Dundee student, and we can tell she's wearing her student gown, asking somebody for money. At the same point, they're holding somebody else up at gunpoint to get money. And this was a sort of comical thing that went into the covers. Now, if we flash forward a few years into the 1960s, here we've got two more examples, the 1961 cover and the 1962 cover. Uh, the 1962 one's interesting because it's got a space theme. And of course, this is at the time the space race was really taking off and was big news in Britain and throughout the world, really. So it's not surprising they're choosing to reflect that. Uh, equally, the 61 cover is a nice humorous attempt. Be a devil and give generously. You will also notice these covers tell us about inflation because the 1940, it was selling for sixpence. By 1961, it's selling for one shilling and sixpence. It was all going to a good cause. What else I like about these covers, and most people that come into the archives like, is they are very, very well drawn. Uh, and they've got a real comic theme. Indeed, 
some of these wouldn't be out of place in a DC Thompson's comic of the time. And this is because these particular covers, as were several around this time, were drawn by Bill Ritchie. Now, Bill Ritchie was an artist for DC Thompson's who contributed extensively to their comics, and he very kindly, for a number of years, drew the covers and some cartoons for Glad Mag, basically just to help the charitable effort. And it's really nice that we've got this connection to Dundee's comic industry within the Glad Mag. So, we do have a lot of Glad Mags. Our earliest one is 1940, our latest one is 1976. But there is an issue. Unfortunately, Glad Mag does not seem to have been routinely kept by the university authorities, the library, whatever. It didn't, they didn't all come to the archives. And that means while we've got a few, we have some fairly big gaps in the collection. So the first one we've got, as I've said, is 1940. However, we know from newspaper reports there was one produced earlier than that, at least one, because we know there's a 1938 edition. We don't know if there's a 39 one, but it seems likely there probably was as well. We also know that there are references to a publication earlier in the 1930s, uh, which seems to have been more of a newspaper format. But whether it was called Glad Mag or not, we don't know, because we have no trace of this has survived. Similarly, as we go on beyond the 1940s, we've got gaps. So, for example, we don't have any issues of Glad Mag between 1951 and 1956, or between 1965 and 1969, and we don't have any for the mid-1970s either. We're also not 100% sure that 1976 is the last one. So, if anybody watching this out there has copies of Glad Mag, and we want, they're ones that we might not have, we would be very, very interested in hearing from you, because this is an important part of the university's history, and we really want it to be well represented in the collection. Well, thank you for listening to the video. I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, we'll be doing more videos about our collections while we're still closed. So stay safe and take care, and, and we'll see you soon.